We have just three days and counting until the major service shutdown on the Orange Line. And we've been covering every angle of this story to make sure that you are aware and that you can still get around. Yeah, no question. It's a huge disruption for commuters, including patients and workers at Tufts Medical Center. WBZ's Christina Hager spoke to some who are getting creative in order to get to work. I think they should have some kind of buses coming through here. Joan Litchfield takes the elevator through Tufts MBTA station for dental appointments. Not an option once the Orange Line's month-long shutdown starts Friday night. How would you get here now? Well, I have one in two weeks and I'm, I'm going to take a lift. At other stops along the Orange Line, crews have been painting special lanes for alternative shuttles the T set up. Even though Tufts is one of the city's major medical hubs, transportation officials did not put a shuttle stop here. I come here like for doctor's appointment. This mom wonders why not. It is one of the more challenging ge geographic areas. Not possible for us really to run an efficient shuttle through there. The T's general manager offered this explanation at a Monday news conference. The Boylston stop is... It, it's a healthy block, but it is a block away uh, from the Chinatown stop. Yeah, that's kind of a long one. For employees who ride the T, Tufts now plans to offer some private shuttles and security escorts for that long walk. I do know that I'm going to have to start taking the green line and like either walk here or something like that. So that's unfortunate. On top of a pandemic that's already taken a toll on staff and patients too. Lots of people put off care and because of that we're just seeing patients in general that are sicker and a little bit more fragile. Um, so we are very worried that patients will be concerned enough they put off that care. That's why the hospital wants patients to call here before canceling any appointments so they can try to help people find a way to get here. By the way, the Silver Line is still running buses here and the T plans to increase that service, hoping it'll help. At Tufts Medical Center, Christina Hager, WBZ News. All right, Christina, thank you. And a lot of, not a lot of people realize that students in Boston, a lot of them use the Orange Line. The timing isn't great here as we show you the calendar because kids go back to school on the 8th of September, just a few weeks after the Orange Line shuts down for 30 days. So here's what you need to know as a parent. The district says that students should take advantage of the free shuttle buses and the commuter rail. They say you should actually practice new routes in advance to make sure that you're comfortable getting to and from school and be prepared for some delays as well. The district says there will not be any consequences for students who get to school late.